What is happening y'all? Cowboy here and welcome back to the walkthrough continuing along with the next main mission the Demon Fort of the Yellow Heaven. Uh, this is essentially the conclusion of the Yellow Turban Rebellion saga of the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Uh, but here we are right where we left off. Now there's a camp that's down below. Uh, you can walk around and explore and whatnot if you want but there's no loot to be concerned of down there. Uh, now before we get started of course let's go ahead and spend our virtue level up gonna unlock us some more wizardry type stuff uh, hopping over there on the earth we're gonna go for sand sink this is good for uh, aoe type situations uh, over here we're gonna pick up life wither really really nice metal skill there uh, unrelenting frost here which is really just to get us to ominous chill which we're gonna want later and then over in the wood phase we'll go ahead and pick up barb conductor pretty solid ability uh, for fire let's go surging blaze why not uh, but as for our current spells, so two things I want to touch on here with Earth. Deathly Bog, this is going to create a bog. It's going to do a little bit of damage over time and slow enemies. If you want a different form of scene, uh, crowd control or CC, Sand Sink was going to rip enemies into the center. And so that's a really good option because you can basically Sand Sink and pull them into your imposing slabs. Uh, both of those are good in the right context. So just to kind of better show that, we're actually going to take off our extra heal and I'll put both on to demonstrate that a bit uh, but so for this next mission I'd actually suggest you go ahead and summon up Lu Bei uh, this is a set that we're going to be working towards for the sake of the walkthrough the man of benevolence uh, just a very very good all-around set has a lot of health gain type effects on it and then the pair of swords of course are really good so I would suggest summoning him on up now besides that we also have Sun Jianan if you're planning on playing with a metallic build, he is a very safe bet. Uh, his weapon, as well as his set, are going to be for metal builds. Otherwise, if you want, you could unsummon him and continue leveling someone like Zhao Yun to get access to the spear, which is actually exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to use our Willow Branch here, and we're going to send Sun Jian away. And then we're going to go back to this. And reinforcements, and we're going to bring Zhao Yun along. It is an honor. To fight alongside such a fine warrior. Go ahead and hop on up. Um, from here, Lu Bei is going to be the one that we're mainly focused on leveling up. But, you know, if you want to do a Earth set or whatever the case is, uh, Zhao Yu, Wan Yu, whoever you want to focus on, it's a decision for you to make. But we are going to be respecting to water relatively soon, which means what we want. Bei set. Uh, so for now, we're in this tunnel and we're going to end up this. And then up ahead here, where it kind of opens, we're going to stick to the left. So just kind of stay to the left as we work our way through. And this is just going to allow us to kind of come up behind a lot of the stuff that's in here, which is quite nice. Up over that gap, like that. We're not worried about this guy yet. Just going to kill him now. Right. And then here at the split, once again, we're going to stick to the left. This is going to bring us right on up to the uh, the Warlock. Alright, Warlock down. And we have two enemies here. We're going to run and jump. Oh, I can't believe we fell apart. He doesn't want to die. There we go. Alright, with him finally dead, let's go ahead and get this first marking flag. And then so there's a couple other goodies that we want to grab around here. Kill that enemy. Over here is where the other one died. Yeah, we're good. That. Did I grab the leather? I think that was the leather. No, it's just over this way. Okay. Uh, so, right here, you can see that there is a battle flag we can get over there. There's also a bird, which I can't log on just yet, but he's level 10, if I remember correctly. So, for the time being, we're going to ignore that. Instead, go back up here to where we killed that wizard, and we're going to continue along this way to head on out. As we exit, we're going to stick to the left here, and you can see a spot where we can climb up on this building. 
Double jump across. Get this chest. And then we're going to climb up here. Now, we want to get this guy, but keep in mind, he's being empowered by that warlock right now. So we're going to try and sneak up behind him. Take him out. And we'll empower Jelly Veda. A little bit of damage on this guy. And then walk up right behind this guy. Take him out. And you'll notice that has taken them all away. Which will make this next part much easier. Go ahead and shoot that guy. Um, can I? Close, but not quite. Uh, they're going to come up here, though. That's fine. We'll fight them up here. And this is the one that we really want to kill. But right now, we're just removing all the other obstacles out of the way, so... Okay. And now, all we do is jump down and kill this guy. him dead, we can go ahead and grab this battle flag, giving us a nice checkpoint kind of right here in the middle of everything, in addition to boosting our fortitude all the way up to rank 6. So now that we have that, uh, we can go around killing a couple of these enemies. You don't have to kill all these enemies, it's just one of those things where you know, I kind of like cleaning them up and uh, fully clearing the map. So right here, you can see there's a guy that's kind of hiding behind the crates, looking for a chance to ambush. Very sneaky. And then right over here, we actually have three warlocks we can kill. So we're going to run on up and get a plunge attack. Call them out. Go ahead and open that chest up. Ooh, Warlock Mask 4 Star. Very nice. Alright, so from here, we're going to. Thought you just to kill that guy. I'll let him take care of it. Down the loop. We got some dogs to kill. There's an archer up there, you can see. So I'll just uh, well, actually run. Take out the archer now while they are busy fighting the wolves. So grab this, and then before we head on over there and do that stuff, we're actually going to go up above and kind of work our way around. Go up top, get this chest. And then right over here. Ooh, I was a little sloppy. Here we have another Shiatsu. We're gonna go ahead and drop that Warlock Mask. I'm not gonna... Oh wait, no, heaviest accumulation on enemies. Okay, so this is important. So you can see how I have a unique effect on this, where it says Spirit Fervor upon Fatal Strike. It has that little symbol next to it. Because of that, I don't want to drop this. I want to actually break this down at the blacksmith, and that's going to allow me to use that effect on a different piece of armor. So for now, we are not going to drop that. Now this one is all very generic type stuff, you know, lightning damage taken, metal phase. I'm not worried about that at all. So we will drop that. Uh, that mask is actually going to be very useful. So. And when you're looking at loot, you'll, you'll begin to learn what is worth hanging on to and what isn't. Uh, but, you know, certain things are going to have perks that are much better than others. So, morale points. 
ranged attack damage received. Hmm. Not really a big fan of that one compared to the other two I have, so unfortunately a wash, but uh, you know, not everything can be a winner. Now we can see loot. We can also see an enemy kind of waiting for you to walk inside for this one. I'm gonna go ahead, take him out, get the leather. And then instead of going over there, we're going to climb and we're gonna go up on the rooftops again. Now you can't get that flag for now. That comes much later, so don't worry about it. Uh, what we wanna do is kill this guy. And then we have the four and there should be one more. There he is, there's the eight. Up and plunge. Vacuum them into the bog there. But you can see the bog damage is only ticking for like two per per instance. Not not very strong at all. Killing those enemies, we got another marking flag, so we'll use that to top our health off. It'll be very very different once we have uh, the ability to respec. We're going to be playing with the uh, much much faster playstyle than what we have right now. All right, so from here, jump onto that ladder. Jump up. This right here, there should be a... No, it's right over there. Go kill this guy. Take that down. Gives us a nice little shortcut right back to our flag over there. Should be. I was like, I know there's more in here. Oh, grab the yellow turban commander gauntlets. Smack that guy. Uh, and here we have a chest. More leather. And then we're. So there's one more thing. Go up top. Go up top. And then right there, on this roof, we have our golden cicada shell for this level. Alright, uh, so we did the shiatsu cicada shell. We had the second marking flag and the two enemies inside the house. Doo -doo -doo. Yes, okay. So we're going to head into the cave. We have two of the porcupines. Very poor, uh, poor dodging skills there. See, they're deflecting the explosion from that enemy. Deathly bug. I do wish it did a little more, uh, a little more deathly. Two damage per hit isn't very deathly. Uh, that's gonna bring us on out. Now, once we are out here, we're gonna follow this around, and we're gonna run straight across, jump up that ourselves another marking flag. Oh no! Did not mean to fall all that way. That's okay. What are we getting to combat with? Nothing of a threat. Okay. So for now, let's just run over here. And we're going to climb right back up here and we're going to pretend that we never fell. We didn't see that. Right, so I was uh, right up here. We're just gonna, they're going to fight down below for a second. Uh, so if we if we were over here and we didn't fall, we would have jumped over there, gotten the marking flag. After that, we would have hopped down, pick up that loot, go over here, and there's a chest that you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and climb up here. Get more leather. Drop down. Get this. You can see that bird over there. We're still not going for that just yet. But we're going to go here. Get this. Since you probably don't have a good crossbow just yet, go ahead and equip that right now. That way you don't accidentally break it down later. Drop down. And while we're not going for the bird, let's go ahead and open this on up. That way we have access to that for later. Grab that. Back here we have a chest. 
Okay, uh, let's see. Continue along, and then at the zombies, big chest near the ladder. We got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, we're gonna the tiger, we're gonna take that up. Which is right up ahead. So, we can see the tiger. We're gonna back off a little bit. He should turn, and when he does, we don't really wanna fight him just yet. Instead, we wanna climb on up. We're gonna kill him, but for now, it's better to just avoid the tiger. Actually, have uh, just a few more missions, then we're gonna respec in a very different playstyle. So, hop across to pick up that. And then, if you can make it back here, great. If you can't and you fall down, that's okay. Um, right here, we can draw the porcupine on over. Sounds like they may have aggroed the tiger. Yes, they did. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and fight the tiger now, then. Go ahead and empower both of them. This foe's strength surpasses my expectations. Any good loot out of you? No, nothing? Okay. Well, anyway, that makes things a little easier. The Tiger Dead, go ahead and climb up this ladder. And climb up the next one. And then right ahead, you can see that we have a warlock running out of arrows, so it might take a couple throwing knives. There we go. My enemies down. Go over here and grab this. And then leap and hit. And then there was a small chest. No, never mind. It's in the next part of this. Let's climb on up this. And do the double hop. That's gonna get you marking number four. Uh, let me see. Drop and ladder up again, get marking four, back up and take the path until you drop the flag. Okay, so we're looking good. Ignore this path for now. It's like the, the second part of the zone. Now instead we're going to drop down. Gonna kill this guy. Kill that guy if you want. But for now, there's a chest that we want. Get that. Cup Cordiality. We'll be talking about those in a moment. Let's go ahead and raise this battle flag. That's of course going to replenish all of our healing, which is nice. Um, and then there's a couple more enemies that we're going to clean on out. Ah, so there's a ladder right here. You see, don't worry about that just yet. That's going to be how we go into the next zone. But for now, we can ignore it. really does well to uh, kind of lock them down. Okay, we'll grab that. Get another marking flag over here. And then we have the porcupine and the final tiger. Yeah, so we're down to the ground portion. Up and around for marking six. Uh, killed, yes, two markings left, and two battles left. Okay, yes, that people were at. So, let's go ahead and clear out some stuff. Do the, uh, the tippy-tappy approach. We're gonna do boop and boop and boop.
Let's see a little smart utilization of all of our wizardry spells there. Go ahead and get that chest. And now we're just kind of clearing out any of the, the remnant enemies. We don't need to at this point. We can, we're going now. We're making our way to the bird. But there's a couple of kind of loose loots here and there that we're going to grab. Got some ejected key clot. Iron sword over there. And everything should be dead. There might be a porcupine that we missed. Oh, look at you. The nice thing is just the way we're clearing this, we have such an insane morale gain right now. You know, we're almost up to 19 morale, so uh, heading on over to the bird at this point. There's no difficulty at all. You're going to trounce this thing. If you want, of course, you can wait for it to pass and get the critical. I don't think it's going to be necessary, but... Okay, listen, I get it. You're you're excited to fight me. Bandit Scimitar, four star, that is beautiful. With that, we could actually get started on uh, on being water. Quite nice. But we're gonna be working up towards Lou Bay's armor. For water, but we can certainly work with those in the meantime. I wanna say there was, yes, there's a chest over here. All right, so let's raise your battle flag, and that leaves you with one battle flag to go, which is going to be right before the boss, and two marking flags, which are a little bit hidden, uh, but we'll pick those up. And then, of course, there's a rather lengthy side quest after this mission as well. So we are going to wrap up in just a second. I want to say we have to open this from the other side. No, we can open it from right here. Well, that is where we're going to be going next. Um, it's it's a short little run up to the temple, and that's where the boss is at. But there is an invasion, which could be PvP. So we'll actually rest here. We're going to wrap things up for this episode. I'm uh, going to go ahead and pump that up. 20 Earth Virtue. That's looking beefy. Uh, the next episode, we're going to finish this up, take on Zhang Zhao. We're going to do the side quest, the Flying Swallow of He Sen. And then from there, once we get up to uh, episode 7, we will unlock the ability to respec. So some big stuff coming up. Uh, but stay tuned. We're going to pick up right from this spot in the next episode.